Hello, welcome to today. And I woke up before 9 a.m. today. <laughs> I was so tired last night. If you would have watched my last video on Wednesday, horrible sleep, had eye problems, and it was just such an un unmotivated day, period. But I went to bed last night early. I think it was probably nine o'clock and I had like, you know, 11 hours of sleep. So I was really, really happy about that. I was happy about getting up at a decent hour because that's normally the time that I've been getting up lately is like 8.30, 9 o'clock, uh, have coffee with Jimmy and then I get to work and he gets to work. Um, today he's actually working on our side by side. There was just a couple tune-ups. We're gonna swap out the front tires. Um, if you don't know what a side by side is, I'll try to put a picture on the screen. Um, ours fits four people. It was so much fun when we took it to the mountains, when we were camping, uh, we camped off grid and we took our side by side and it was just such good times and good memories. But now it's only Jimmy and I and we are, you know, getting rid of things over the course of the next few years and the side by side is one of the first ones to go because we don't use it anymore. Um, the closest place near us is about three, three hours, three and a half hours. And um, we usually take the trailer out. Um, Jimmy with the truck hauls the trailer and then I with my SUV haul the trailer with the side by side. And then we take gas for our generator in order to have, you know, electricity and everything in our camper. And gas is just way too expensive nowadays to do any of that because we have to fill up the truck, fill up my SUV, and fill up the side by side plus take about you know 60 liters of fuel with us as well in order for a generator for you know two or three days that we're out there or however often we're out there and it's just too expensive like it's way too money and that's one way we would have to probably we'd have to fill up the car the suv and the truck to come back as well and it's just a lot a lot of money and once again it's just funner with the girls you know um not saying we couldn't have fun with jimmy and i but it's really hard for jimmy to get in and out of the side by side now with now having his second back surgery and having another fuse done um he just loses mobility for that and it's really tough to get in and out of, of the side by side so anyways he is working on that tuning it up and we are going to sell it next week uh like i said thanks to cash stu cash stuffing we owe no money on anything so um you know there's no liens on any of our vehicles or the trailer or the side by side or the harley um we owe nothing to nobody and it's such a freedom it's so free on freedom I can't even explain to you how good of a feeling it is, but it's a very, very good feeling. And uh, so we'll be hopefully selling that next week. Um, because like I said, summer is only so many months out of the year and we have to get all of these summer chores done out of the way. But today, so excited. I got so much work done with my business. I did a whole bunch of printing. As I showed you guys, I do, um, I am launching today. When you're watching this, I would have launched it. And it is a two-in-one um bu budget binder and i had to print off all of the cardstock to be laminated that go inside of that budget binder printed off 25 sets of that so i have a lot of cutting to do a lot of laminating and i also am prepping something that i'm going to be launching and that is going to be a 1000 k challenge a mini challenge and also a mega a mega challenge. <laughs> so I kind of prepped the outside all of all of these. And then I also did up the trackers for them as well, because I do include trackers with them. So you can keep track of your progress. Um, one of them I have finished up like completely just as like a demo, because I am going to let one of my part time employees um, complete all of the vinyl. But this is them. This is like um, the, the mini ones will be, um, glued, like stuck on. And then this is all of the vinyl, like you see here, um, the fives, tens, twenties, and then all of this vinyl, the stickering, um, I get my part-time employees to do all of that because it is time consuming. And, uh, you know, I only have so many hours in the day where I need to be fulfilling orders or working on the next launch. So I'm really happy with the progress that I got with that. I did, I don't know, probably 20, maybe 20 of um, all together, 
you know, of the binders. And um, I will be printing off that vinyl and then handing it off to one of my part-time employees so they can work on that. Those probably won't launch. I'm guessing another month or so I'll probably launch those. Those will be a while because I have a lot that I ordered and a lot that I need to get stickered and, you know, etc. It, it'll just take, it'll take a while. Cause like I said, I try to get as many as I can done. And for something like, like this, um, like these won't be customizable. These will be as shown. The writing will be the same colors on the outside and then the vinyl will all be black on the inside. And there is no modification or customization for that. So if there's anything that needs to be um, that is not customizable, I try to get them all done and ready to go and so that they're ready to go out the door. So I'm so excited about that. And it is now, it's 2.30. And I have been down here pretty much all day. Um, I probably will work until four or so. Uh, Jimmy and I have dinner at five o'clock all the time. I also finished Zoe's room, so I wanna show you that. So most of you know that, it, sorry, it's really echoey in this room, but this is my shipping office because I have my whole office that I've shown before. This is my shipping office, which I think the last time I shown it, I was just trying to get organized, but I am thoroughly organized here now. I actually just cleaned all this up. I have all my bubble mailers, mailers, um, all of my stickers down there and everything else that I just need in order to send out parcels. Uh, bubble wrap, I have boxes down there. That's just my new budget binders in case I need to take any more videos for TikTok or any more photos. I think I have all the photos done though for my shop on Etsy. So I have that all ready to go. And then of course, being a YouTuber and small business, you need to have all of the lights. But over here is Zoe's room. And this was where she slept. She always loved this this room. Actually, both of the girls loved this room because one side they would have like as their sleeping area and their dresser and their clothes. And then the other side would always be like a lounging area. They would have their TV. You can see kind of the holes on the walls where she still had the TV. And uh, they would use it as like a lounge space or put their desk for homework when they're in high school and everything. But it's a fun, it's a fun room. Um, so I finished up her room put an extra chair in there don't mind the walls because we are not doing anything with the walls I did clean them but I we're not going to repaint them or fill them or anything like that you know as time goes down so that everything is all fresh and new when we sell so please excuse the wall the walls because there is like you know marks from when they they had their furniture up against the walls etc if you have kids you totally understand um but she has like this wa this rack sorry clothing rack because there is no closet in this room um so she used that for her clothes and i just i just left it there with a couple hangers that she had left over um jimmy fixed the blinds because the blind actually came down so he fixed that and then this is her her bed she's gonna love it she's gonna think this is so fun zoe is like my she's she's 21 she'll be 21 in october but she's like my old lady soul and you know she's already into like plants and she stays at home she's an introvert she crochets she knits like that is her personality so I think she's gonna love this bedding setup that I have for her I think it's actually pretty funny um but it's like we have other comforters but I just thought this was fun and I think she would really like it um that comforter is actually a quilt that my grandma made uh that she always had at her house my grandparents are passed away so I have kept that and then of course like the famous you know <laughs> the famous little soft plush um throw that pretty much everybody has or at least your mom or your grandma might have and I thought that was really fun and then I have a little nightstand here for her, which has Kleenex. And this is uh, this was kind of like a joke that we did. Uh, she was employee of the month. She was actually my only employee back in January and February. And so we did this up for her and we presented it to her. We even have a picture. I'll try to include it. And I gave her a gift card as well because she helped me so much and worked so hard. But I thought that was kind of funny. We used one of her old pictures from when she was like in grade nine or 10. And then she had this here. She didn't take it with her so I thought that I would put it on her nightstand have a little lamp there for her but that is all done so I'm so happy because when I'm recording today is Wednesday so she'll be home on Friday I'm actually going to show you a little bit more of the downstairs I don't think I ever have don't mind the mess this is Jenna's room um, I just put the plant in there because monsteras are actually um 
poisonous to cats. I did have it in my office, like in my shipping office, but that's where Zoe's gonna be sleeping. So I just put it in here with the door closed and then I'll move it back after Zoe leaves. But Jenna left, she left everything. Like, you know, she literally left her room pretty much exactly the same because when she left, uh, she was in staff accommodations. So hence why her bed and absolutely everything is still here. So we just left it as is, you know, we tried to put all of her stuff like in her room just so she can sort through it and it's not in our storage room. And, you know, if she decides to take her stuff with her or, or take it and move it into a storage, she will have like all of her stuff contained into one room. So this is Jenna's room. And then when you come out of Jenna's room, there's actually another bathroom here on her side. And this is her bathroom. All of, her, all of her stuff is still there. She has to go through all that. She has a corner shower. There's no bath. Um, Jimmy and I renovated this bathroom and we probably w wouldn't have done that. What we did, we probably would have just left it as a bathtub like our other one. But um, this is it. It's just a small little bathroom. And this is her bathroom. And it's a, a guest bathroom as well when we have guests. Because when you come outside of this bedroom... Right over here is our guest room. So this is this is our guest room that we renovated not too long ago. I think probably like eight months ago or something like that, if you would have remembered Anita and her sister stayed at our place uh, from Ketogenic Woman. She was visiting and she stayed overnight. So we wanted to get this room all done. And it's just a guest room. That's all that is completely in here. Everything is empty in those drawers, but we thought we would keep it you never know when one of your kids needs an extra drawer or armoire. And so we thought we would just put it all in the guest room. But I love it. I put a little um, rug in there and did kind of like a gray, white and yellow theme. And I thought it was really, really cute. So that is our guest room. And then outside the guest room is all of our storage. How embarrassing, but everybody has it, right? And then, like I said, Jenna's room. And then there is a hallway, which we still need to get done. I'm just gonna close the door. This is our hallway that still needs to be renovated. Jimmy is not a fan of drywall, so we'll need to get somebody to do that. I showed you this room already. This is Zoe's room. And then this here is my office. I've showed you that before as well too. If you would have seen, it's kind of messy right now. And then here is the stairs to go up. And then in the other bedroom, this is classified as a bedroom, but it is Jimmy's gun room is what we call it. Uh, so everybody is, if it's in the gun room, this is the room, but it is the same size as the guest room. Cause like I said, our house used to be a duplex and it mirrors each side. And then these are, I've shown you guys these uh, doors that Jimmy installed. This is um, each side has like a linen closet. Ours just has junk. And then, of course, this is the bathroom that we renovated. I don't know. I think it was last summer or the summer before. Um, but it is all completely renovated. There's me. Hello. Um, and I cleaned it completely, cleaned it head to toe so that it would be all nice and clean for Zoe and put fresh towels in here and everything because this is her bathroom. And then the other side was always Jenna's bathroom. So that is our basement. So there is six bedrooms in this house. There is five downstairs um, that I just showed you. And then we have our master bedroom upstairs, which has an ensuite attached to it. And um, yeah, it's a big house. And it's when I was cleaning the other day, I cleaned pretty much the whole entire basement because I was like, well, if I'm cleaning Zoe's bathroom, I might as well just clean the other bathroom as well. Wasn't that bad. And then I thought, you know, I might as well sweep and mop. If I'm sweeping and mopping Zoe's room, I might as well do the rest of it, I was sweating by the time I was done. Like it was, it's too much. And after that, I was like, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to downsize because this is just, it's way too much space. Um, yeah, but we just need to get some work done on the basement. The upstairs is pretty much all renovated. It's just the basement. We need to do all the drywall in the hallways and put up lights in the hallways. And then we are going to redo the floors and probably repaint it once we are ready to sell. Like I said, that'll be months before we even put it on the market. Uh, we're not going to do anything now because I feel like I said to Jimmy, like we were talking, we needed to do our fence. And he's like, oh, we really need to redo our fence. And I'm like, let's just wait. Because if we redo our fence now and then sell our home 
four years is our, we, we talked about it the other night and it by 2027 is when we will be moving, the summer of 2027. So I said, if we do like the fence now and we sell it in four years, like people are like, oh, you just replaced it like four years ago, even though it's still brand new, obviously, like I would buy a house with the four year old fence. But you know how the market is, they want everything new. So they want like, you know, brand new flooring, brand new fence, brand new, and it just looks good and is more appealing when you put your house on the market. So I said, we'll wait until later on, you know, that winter before we sell, we are going to do all the drywall and finish the hallway and probably do the flooring. And then the spring before we sell, then we'll do the fence. And Jimmy can do all of that. Probably we might hire somebody out to do the drywall downstairs because Jimmy is not a fan of drywall or sanding. Um, so that might be the only thing that we need to hire out. But Jimmy can do everything else. The fence, the flooring, everything. So that's a little tour because I don't think I've ever given like a little tour of our house. Not that I don't even know if anybody's interested, but I like to see it. I like to see your house. So if you're a YouTuber, share your house. I want to see it <laughs> because I think it's like when I'm recording and people see me, all you see is like this room or upstairs. You've seen my kitchen a lot. And I feel like I, as a, as a watcher, I want to see more of your house, you know? So I always think it's fun to, to share that. So there, there you have it. It's a lot of space and it's a lot of stuff. And I am so anxious to downsize and, you know, to just be so simple. The good thing is about it. The good, the good thing about it is Jenna's stuff in her room is all of Jenna, Jenna's stuff. The guest room, like, the kids can either either have that stuff if by the time we move they get a house or have a spare bedroom like they can have all of that stuff you know we don't have to worry about the basement too too much because obviously my office like by the time we move in four years i won't be doing any of this stuff my small business will be closed <laughs> and i probably still plan on youtubing our travels um so we don't have to worry about the basement too much um, and we're, we're slowly getting rid of stuff and it, it feels so good. Let me tell you. <laughs>